let's take a look at the lesson Patterns of Equivalent Fractions. It says fill in the missing number. How many sixths is equal to 2 twelfths, which is equal to 4 twenty-fourths, which is equal to 8 forty-eighths, which is equal to 16 96 Well, let's see what they did. It looks like in order to get to twelfths, they needed to multiply the denominator by 2. Whatever you do to the bottom number, the denominator, you also need to do to the top number, the numerator. So let's see if the pattern continues. 2 times 2 is 4, 12 times 2 is 24. Yes, 4 times 2 is 8, 24 times 2 is 48, 8 times 2 is 16, 48 times 2 is 96. All right, so what times 2 equals 2? Yeah, 1. 1 times 2 is equal to 2. So 1 sixth is equal to 2 twelfths. Here we have 1 fourth is equal to 2 eighths, which is equal to 4 sixteenths, which is equal to how many? 30 seconds, which is equal to 16 sixty fourths. Well, let's see if we can find the pattern. I know to get from 1 to 2 in multiplication, you need to multiply by 2. So I need to do that to the bottom as well. 1 times 2 is 2, 4 times 2 is 8. Great. Now let's try it with this one. 2 times 2 and 8 times 2. 2 times 2 is 4, 8 times 2 is 16. Great. Now let's multiply. 4 times 2 is 8, and 16 times 2 is 32. Great, so 8 30 seconds. Here we have 1 fourth, 2 eighths, 4 sixteenths, 8 30 seconds, 16 something. So I can see again we're multiplying top and bottom by 2. 1 times 2 is 2, 4 times 2 is 8. Does it continue? Let's see. 2 times 2 is 4. Yep. 8 times 2 is 16. Yes, great. So I can see this pattern continues. So now let's try this. 8 times 2 is 16. 32 times 2 is 64. So it is 16 64ths. Here we have 1 sixth, 2 twelfths. Ah, I can already see they multiply by 2 again. So 1 sixth is equal to 2 twelfths, and if we multiply top and bottom by 2, 2 times 2 is 4, 12 times 2 is 24. Ah, and it continues that pattern. 4 times 2 is 8, 24 times 2 is 48. Great. So it was 4 24ths. Here we have 1 sixth. If we do top and bottom by 2, multiply top and bottom by 2, we get 2 twelfths. Because 1 times 2 is 2, 6 times 2 is 12. Now 2 times 2 is 4, 12 times 2 is 24. Great, so then we know this would need to be 4 times 2 is 8. And then 24 times 2 is 48. Great, so it's 8 48ths. Here we have 1 fifth. 1 fifth, multiply the top and bottom by 2. 1 times 2 is 2, 5 times 2 is 10. 2 times 2 is 4, 10 times 2 is 20. And this pattern continues on. But we found the missing number was 4, 4 twentieths. Here we have 1 fourth. Multiply the top and bottom by 2. 1 times 2 is 2, 4 times 2 is 8. 2 times 2 is 4, 8 times 2 is 16. 4 times 2 is 8, 16 times 2 is 32. 18 times 2 is 16, 32 times 2 is 64. So it's 16 64ths. All right, one third is how many sixths? Well, let's look for a clue of what they did. I see that 3 times 2 would be 6. So it should be 1 times 2. 1 times 2 is 2, so 2 6. But let's make sure this pattern continues. Does that work? 2 times 2? Yes, 2 times 2 is 4, 6 times 2 is 12, 4 times 2 is 8, 12 times 2 is 24. Brilliant, so it is 2 6. All right, 1 eighth, 2 sixteenths, 4 30 seconds. Do you see what they're doing? What are they multiplying by each time? Yeah, 2, the top and bottom by 2. 1 times 2 is 2, 8 times 2 is 16. 2 times 2 is 4, 16 times 2 is 32. 4 times 2 is 8. 32 times 2 is 64. Good. 8 times 2 is 16. 64 times 2 is 128. So 128 is our answer.
Here we have 1 eighth is equal to 2 sixths. Ah, I see it again, multiplying by 2. It looks like 1 times 2 is 2, 8 times 2 is 16. 2 times 2 is 4, 16 times 2 is 32. 4 times 2 is 8, 32 times 4 is 64. So 8 sixty-fourths, here's the 64. Fantastic work with fractions today.